So many of you asked me how I was able to maintain my Birkin and Kelly in such a great condition. So I'm going to share all the tips and tricks on how to store and take care of your Hermes Birkin and Kelly. First, I want to talk about how I store my Birkin and Kelly's. So my Birkin is in the Togo leather in the Ito color and my Kelly is in the gold color, Epson leather. The Togo is more slouchier than the Epson leather. Epson leather can maintain its shape very well on its own, but it's important for Togo leather to be able to maintain its shape. So first thing I want to show you guys is that I removed all the sticker and you can see all the sticker here is peeled. So if you don't peel off the stickers from the hardware, after a long time, they might potentially leave some marks on the hardware. That's the last thing I want. And then before I put them in the bags, I'll make sure to remove all the, for example, like the strap for Kelly, and I'll make sure to remove them and put in their own dust bag and also the key lock and cloche. I'll put them separately inside of the small dust bag to not leave on the bag. And then I will take a look at this bag, see if there's any dirty spots. If there's nothing, I won't do anything. But if there's any where it's dirty, I'll use the Chanel cloth to gently wipe the bag and make sure it's clean before I put in the bag. But generally speaking, all these bags, they all have a protected layer of its own outside of the leather. So mostly you don't need to do anything about it. And then I'll make sure that I have some air bubble, like put it in here to stuff the bag, especially for a Togo bag to maintain its shape. The next most important thing is to put in the file cloth to protect the, the bag. Tuck in the strap on the side. The next thing I would do is put the bag inside of the dust bag. Now you can see there's a pillow in there. And then lay the bag flat and the pillow will provide the support. I don't put them in the box all the time. And I also take them out to give them some air and usually just rotating between the box laying down in the box position and the standing up position on the shelf. So for my Kelly, it's the same thing. Put this in and then make sure put the shoulder strap lock and the key inside of the bag and then put some air bubbles. Then I put it in the dust bag. So next, I want to talk a little bit about the room situation. So where I live, the air was really, really wet. At some point, I started seeing some moldy spots. That was time I invested this dehumidifier for our room. So I run the dehumidifier from time to time, make sure the air is not too wet and that things don't get mold. Because the last thing that you want is to have your Birkin or Kelly get some mold. And I always make sure that there's no direct sunlight on the bag because direct sunlight it's not good for the leather and it might change the color of the bag over time as well. Next, let's talk about the care tips for your Birkin and Kelly. I always make sure I wash my hands before I touching my Birkin and Kelly so none grease or makeup or anything will transfer from my hand to these bags on all to the handles or onto the bag itself. And I don't have any long nails. I always like to keep my nails short and clean so that I don't scratch on the leather. So both Epson leather and Togo are scratch resistant. Togo is probably harder, but although the Epson leather is scratch resistant, but you really, really don't want to try to scratch it because when you scratch the Epson leather, you basically destroy it because it's an embossed leather. So you want to try to avoid long nails to really scratch your leather. If you want to protect your Birkin or Kelly, try to wear Twilly as much as possible. I know sometimes 
is a little bit hassle and even I'm a little bit too lazy to put them on but I know it's good for the bag. You want to make sure no pen or no makeup, no sharp object put inside the bag directly. If you want to put something, you always put a small pouch outside of these things and then put them inside of your Birkin and Kelly. Also make sure there's nothing liquid or potential leak inside of your bag. Don't take your Birkin or Kelly out on a rainy day. I don't know if any of you have tried the raincoat came with the purchase is basically you Useless. I have never opened one personally myself but I did some research online and I see some people opened it. After the person opened it, she was not able to put the raincoat back. It was really difficult but then even you put the raincoat on the back, there is a gap in between those handles so rain will still get inside of the bag and water will get through. So basically the raincoat is useless. Leave me a comment down below if any of you have opened this raincoat and used it. I think the best thing to do is that don't take them out on a rainy day at all because you don't want to risk your bags and don't bring them through the security check when you are, are traveling try to put them in your carry-on luggage instead of using them as a personal bag to bring it on to the airplane because when you go through the scanner usually the scanner in the airport are pretty dirty and also the people that handle those bags they don't handle these bag with any caution you don't want to run any risks to ruin your bags and also i don't know if you want to use them as carry-on bag put the luggage space before you on the floor. I kind of feel bad to put them on the floor. And don't overstuff your bag and don't put any heavy object inside of your bag because this will stretch your bag out and change the shape over time. It will also decrease the lifespan of your bag. The next thing is make sure always to rotate your Birkins or Kelly's. Use it and let them get some rest and switch to a different bag. This is totally another reason to get more designer bags. The next one is to use an insert, but honestly, Epson leather is totally fine. The leather itself maintains the shape very well, so I don't worry about it. If anything that needs an insert, it's maybe my Birkin 30. I have the bag for a while now, and it seems to be holding up the shape perfectly fine without an insert. Maybe it's because I always put air bubble to maintain its shape when I store the bag. If I do find any insert that is really good in the future i'll be sure to share with you guys the next one is avoid color transfer color transfer can totally happen on birkin and Callies as well when you put on the shelf you have to make sure that no direct touching between each bags and get, make sure to give them some space wash your jeans many times and make sure there is no any potential color transfer from the clothes before you wear them and if you're really worried just wear light colored clothes and the next one is check your bag immediately after every wear. I know it's a little bit of hassle. If you check your bag immediately right after you use, if there's any color transfer, you can handle it immediately instead of letting the color set in or the stain set in after a very long time. So generally speaking, if there is some small stains, it might just be dirty. I just gently buff it out with the cloth in circular motions. Most of the time, they will come off. Generally speaking, I don't use any leather conditioner on my Hermes bags. They don't need it. The other reason that I don't use it is because I worry about the Hermes spa policy is they will only do it when the item is authentic and I never done any work outside of Hermes. Even my essay was telling me to eliminate to use any other leather conditioner unless I have to. My white Constance got color transfer during my trip to Hawaii. I was wearing a red dress and it was so hot that day and my my red dress was soaked in sweat and it, it got direct in contact with my constants and because the dress was new I never washed it yet the red color just got all over the back of the bag and after I got back to the hotel I saw it because I always check my bag before I put it back in I totally freaked out and that was the time I started using the conditioner to apply on the bag again and again again and again I apply one layer and let it sit there for a while and I wipe the extra things on the surface and applied it again 
I did the entire night, also did it again the second day. And after that, I finally got rid of the red color. To be honest, I can still see a little bit of residual. It's not too crazy, but a camera might not be able to pick it up. I'm so happy that I was able to get rid of the color transfer. Other than that, I never use any conditioner on my Hermes bag. But I have to say this leather conditioner is really good though because it was able to get the color transfer out and also I use it on all my Chanel bags when it needed. I will leave the link down below in the description box so that you can take a look. So I hope this has been informative and helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye!